This is a really disturbing documentary that I felt needed to be shared. It was originally a 45 minute documentary that I had hoped to be able to condense down to only 10 minutes. Unfortunately, I was only able to get it down to 15 minutes, so it's in two parts. Most fluff footage, ums, and unnecessary pauses have been removed for brevity. In the political realm, we've all seen how religion has effectively added a heavy bias to the concept of democracy as, as it was intended to be due to the sheer number of believers in America. Not to name any names, but... And to directly quote ChristianityToday.com, In the United States, the church receives its tax-exempt position at the cost of outright political involvement. It then continues, The IRS, which determines whether organizations qualify for tax-exempt status, forbids churches from participating in partisan politics. Are these fundamentalists taking a new, unprecedented direction in which new laws need to be considered? Keep this in mind while watching this and let me know what you think. Six years ago, Patrick Henry College did not exist, but Michael Farris, its founder and president, was a man with a plan. He found powerful financial backers in evangelical political circles, and Patrick Henry College was born, without a penny of debt, an hour outside Washington, D.C. The reality is the vast majority of political and social leaders come from elite colleges, and so we believed it was time to create a parallel Christian institution that could rival Harvard and Princeton and Yale and that's our, our unashamed goal. We are trying to recreate the Christian Ivy League here and you know we're well on our way. Flush with victories in recent elections, they enjoy more access to power than ever before. Now, plans are being made to extend that influence far into the future. A stone's throw from Washington takes the brightest sons and daughters from the Christian heartland of America and prepares them for political warfare. Personnel is policy. If you get the right people there, you will change the way the nation works. Evangelicals hope this school will train the soldiers necessary to transform America and the world. It's gone from 88 students in its first year to now over 300. Right now, you know I'm going to intern at the White House, but anywhere I'll be content as long as I'm doing it to serve our country and to serve God. You graduates, Patrick Henry College is not a church, but its mission is to serve the church by training up faithful men and women to serve Christ in this world, a mighty army, a holy nation. I poured a lot of energy, a lot of resources into educating my child, and now I just dumped them on you know, Princeton and Yale, or, or what do I do? And so Patrick Henry provides the answer. The transition from homeschool to changing the world, you know, leading the nation and shaping the culture, that's us. We are the transition. Most of Patrick Henry's students are a product of the homeschooling movement. They were taught at home, kept apart from the cultural mainstream. Evangelical Christian parents choose to homeschool their children in order to control every element of their environment. They want to shield them from what they see as the moral decay of the world and instill a strong Christian worldview. The homeschooling movement is a thing, in a sense, that's going to turn our country around, if anything can. Um, that's what life's all about for me. Um, it's just Christ and his work upon the cross to save a sinner like myself. When she was 11, we were on a family vacation. She was crying. She says, I need, um, I need to pray. There were, you know, thoughts and desires, and they were not biblical. They were not how God wanted me to behave. So we pulled over and stopped and she had just uh, began to confess that she needed the Lord and that she was convicted by her sin. I don't think I would have gained that conviction apart from really God giving it to me. And uh, really she had a salvation experience and it radically changed her life. I've heard the gospel of salvation as long as I can remember, but it really took a long time for me to understand that and apply it to myself personally and to finally give up all the, the dreams and ambitions that I had and give those over to Christ. And when I did that, that's when my true personal faith began rather than just the faith of my parents or the people that I was around. I mean, people differ on what morals are, but when we have homosexual marriage, you have a deviation that's dangerous from the sound principles of Christian morals. And we have a horrible lifestyle that's unproductive to our society as a whole. With a bunch of other uh, students who have the same goal, the same focus to make a positive impact in society for Christ and the Bible. I think there's 
a reason that traditional roles for men and women have been around for as long as they have. Uh, I think women have it harder than men in this area because <laughs> we have to kind of plan for our lives as a single and try to understand what a single life is glorifying God at the same time expect that at some point in time maybe there will be a, a guy will come along you know and will want to serve him. If you are truly trying to live the way you should well part of that involves obeying the rules that have been set down so whether or not you agree that the rules themselves are moral absolutes you'll obey them just because that's what you're supposed to do. Bye, love you. For the first time in their young lives these homeschoolers will be free from parental supervision. But their parents need not worry. At Patrick Henry, the students are bound by a strict code of behavior. It's really unique um, here at PHC. What you're going to do today is you're going to sign the Student Covenant and Honor Code together. I would appreciate silence as people sign. I will not use alcohol, tobacco, or illegal drugs. I will shun obscenity, pornography, and sexually explicit material. I will reserve sexual activity for the sanctity of marriage. I will resolve personal conflicts biblically. I am willing to be held accountable and will hold my fellow students accountable. This semester and in previous semesters, I have gone out on a couple of different occasions, a number of occasions, uh, drinking and smoking. Some of you know that comes out as a shock to you. My roommate actually reported me dealing with that after, you know, really making a bold-faced lie uh, was so tough. What you're seeing here at Patrick Henry College is a bunch of individual students who are choosing on their own to follow up with actions the beliefs that they have already from the Bible. How can it be that religion is necessary to the maintenance of Republican institutions, whether or not, you see what he's saying, whether or not they believe it? Every class at the college is taught from a biblical perspective. My ultimate love is Christ. The term Christian liberty has a kind of theological component to it. And it implies the, the liberation we have in Christ from the law and sin. The liberation we have in Christ from the law. The liberation we have from the law. During student induction, President Farris sets out the college's educational philosophy. Because if the Bible teaches it, I don't care what Plato says. We don't need the world's knowledge and information to guide us. We need the world's knowledge and information, but it's basically what in political terms you'd call opposition research. Is it necessary that the religion be Christianity? Because Christianity is one of the oldest religions and has that basis that I mean that would set it above everything else. Christianity therefore reigns without obstacles on the admission of all. So he's, he, he, even even those who maybe don't believe this admit yeah here in this in America uh, Christianity. Theology is eminently practical. <laughs> Very good you remember. Theology is eminently practical. It deals with life and its reality. Science is part of our culture, and I think understanding the difference between good science and bad science is incredibly important. How does a cell know to become a leg in a fly? Like the students, the staff must also sign the college's statement of faith. It requires, among other things, that they teach creationism in their biology classes. I personally think the key to understanding geologic observation is the flood of Genesis and so that the reason we have strata in the earth is not because things accumulated very slowly over millions of years but because things got buried in different uh, at different times during that flood. The big sports at Patrick Henry College are debate and moot court. They are the bread and butter of the school's program, offering practice for the real world of political activism. Moot Court is so central to the college's mission that President Farris himself coaches the team. One of my goals is to raise up uh, a few people that are really at the top of the legal profession. And they get in the zone where they can become the Attorney General of their state, maybe the Supreme Court of the United States. Happy 